Hello you beautiful angels, welcome here. Thank you very much for all of your kindness, all of your love, all of your support, uh, your wonderful comments and your generous donations. I'm very, very grateful to all of you. Thank you. Today we've got a love reading and this one is called um, Your Person's Thoughts, Feelings and Actions. I remember doing this reading a while ago and you seem to like it, so we are doing it again. I've got three puzzle of cards for you to choose from. I will insert the picture in a second. Please take your time, listen to intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them. And then choose a pile that resonates with you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello my beautiful pile number one or everyone who chose clear quartz. Let's see what are your person's thoughts, feelings and actions. We are opening the reading with three of swords. Wife. The emperor. Soldier. The world. And widower. Mm -hmm. Pile one. This is so interesting, but I guess it's normal for people to uh, substitute, to compensate, overcompensate when they are very emotional, like to to interchange their emotions and their thoughts, because in this person's thoughts, we've got the three of swords and wife. Uh, there's a lot of sadness here. There's like this energy of disappointment. It's almost like what they were hoping for, the plan they had in mind, the uh, the vision that they had, because we also got this wife. I feel like this is someone who was planning something serious, something committed, something uh, long term with you, uh, possibly a family, marriage, or at least a serious committed, committed relationship. But in their mind, uh, it didn't go so well. With the Three of Swords, there is this energy of disappointment, of feeling like maybe they made mistakes, maybe the circumstances intervened and um, things didn't go to plan. And what's interesting is that it's almost like this person is thinking about their emotions. And, and what's even more surprising, in their emotions, I'm seeing them trying to be more logical. You know, you see what I mean? It's like, uh, they are confusing the two. It's like, uh, probably you are dealing with a very logical person or someone quite practical or very intelligent mind, very rational mind. They are rational rationalizing their emotions. That's what's going on here with this wife and three of swords. It's almost like mm, there is a lot of pain here. This person keeps remembering uh, possibly a conversation that took place or um, an argument or disagreement that really hurt them. And they're thinking of their own emotions. That's what's happening here. They're thinking of the pain that um, that the situation caused them, that this situation, this connection brought them. They're thinking about the pain here with this Three of Swords and wife. Disappointment, frustration, and um, not... <sighs> it's not that this person is thinking about some events or uh, what was going on. It's their perspective em is more emotional. This is so strange for me. It's like... Maybe they're very retrospective. Maybe uh, they like to reflect on their feelings a lot. And uh, they must have something in Gemini or Libra, maybe even Aquarian. Air, a lot of air I'm sensing from this person. They are trying to... They are trying to feel their emotions through logic. This is what I'm feeling here. But they're definitely thinking about their broken heart, about this sadness, about this frustration because they wanted something serious with you, because they wanted a family with you, uh, possibly children even here with this wife, something serious. 
What's going on in their feelings? <laughs> this is a tough person. This is someone who's uh, maybe they're good at uh, putting on a front, a facade, a really strong, um, not a mask, but up front. Someone who is very stoic, someone who is very resilient. Um, logical again. I keep looking at this chess, chess figure in this man's hand. And it's just, uh, this person is trying to be logical at all times, but this situation really touched them. In their feelings, it's almost like they are trying to man up. If this is a man, definitely trying to man up with the emperor and the soldier, and it's like, no, I'm not going to be all heartbroken. I won't um, cry over this. I won't feel defeated. It's just self-defense mechanism. Because they are allowing themselves to, um, in their thoughts, they're allowing themselves to, to go over the disappointment. But in their feelings, it's almost like um, they need to be strong for someone, for some people maybe around them, or maybe even for themselves, not to, uh, not to break down. With this emperor, there is this need for structure in their life, there is this need for stability, to be their own uh, rock, their own stable ground. They're protecting themselves, definitely. Maybe trying to... Um, change their focus on, on their job, on their work, on their career, because the emperor is a builder, someone who is building, someone who is uh, creating the structure, someone who is very hard working, resilient and strong. Strong is the word that's coming off very strongly from this person. <laughs> mm, soldier, a wounded soldier. It's almost like in the uh, emotional sphere, in their heart, they are trying to to be the warrior. They are trying to protect themselves from the things they don't want to feel, from the emotions they don't want to let in inside of them. With the soldier and emperor, yeah, Aries energy also. Fighter, <laughs> I would call them as well but very practical, very rational. I wouldn't say that they are grounded so much, like earth signs, but this is someone very um, logical, rational, and um, always trying to have an order, some kind of logical in their thinking patterns. And that's also what they're bringing towards, into the emotional sphere, into the feelings and uh, heart, order and structure and uh, deep understanding of things. Not Trying not to be all over the place. This is not the person who is like in chaos. This is someone very... Um, they, they think ahead and sometimes they even feel ahead, this person. Very interesting. Uh, very complex um, person. This is very deep. But they do think of losing you. I feel like there is something that happened here, a separation, an ending of this connection, um, maybe some distance here, maybe you broke up, because opening the reading with the Three of Swords and wife, they're definitely thinking of um, how much pain the situation caused them. Or maybe even the mutual aspect of it, how much pain this caused you as well. I don't feel like this is a mean person. They don't want this to uh, to be a difficult, painful situation for either of you, to be honest. What are their actions? Mm. It's almost like uh, they have nothing left to do other than close up the cycle, other than to finish this chapter, finish this period of your, of this connection. Because we've got the world and we do them. It's almost like they're slowly accepting the fact that maybe um, it was supposed to end. It's almost like finishing a cycle, ending something, mourning it again. I don't see this person necessarily moving, uh, being active towards you, like doing, uh, being in their masculine energy. Mm -mm. It's almost like 
accepting, accepting, moving on, grieving and closing the cycle. I, probably not many people who are watching me right now want to hear this, but I, I say what I see and feel. Let's look at your oracle cards, maybe we will get some clarification, but yeah, it feels like closing up the chapter for them. <laughs> look at that, the first card we've got here is chapter one and the end, and it says conclusion. Um, can you even, I don't have any words, I hope you can see this card. It's almost like this person has sees this as a finished book, like the story that had a logical conclusion. Yes, there is a lot of sadness in them, there is a lot of pain in them, but at the same time there is some sort of um, battle or protective mechanism um, that's going on inside their heart. Like, I'm not going to fall victim to this, I'm not going to be uh, break down, be all heartbroken. This is someone very strong, very resilient. I'm getting a lot of Aries energy here. And again, yeah, conclusion, that's what's going on here. Maybe drawing some lessons from this whole connection, from what happened, um, understanding some things for themselves. Yes, look at that. We've got this card, hostility. Very similar energy to the soldier. What's going on? This is almost like th there's this combative energy in them in regards to their emotions. It's almost like um, you're not going to make me feel pain, sadness. They are rational rationalizing their emotions. That's what I'm feeling very strongly. Not letting them flow, not letting them get too close. Yeah, too close to, to their heart. Not a lot of self-protection, a lot of self-defense and um, Yes, I won't let this hurt me anymore, or touch me even. Probably you are doing the same in this connection at this point. Also, we've got this card, New Life. Probably this person is trying to move on, um, start over, maybe get distracted. Again, maybe focus on their work, on their career, whatever it is they're doing. Mm. Again, distracting themselves from this story, from this ending, this conclusion in hopes that they will uh, feel better, they will get through this period of grief, of mourning, of letting go easier with this world also almost like, what's the word? Um, when we write down all of the um, Summary, like the summary of something, what understandings we got, <laughs> what, what conclusions we have from something that happened in a connection or in any situation. It's almost like um, self-reflection, there is a lot of that here. Coming to conclusions about what went wrong, what their mistakes were, what your mistakes were, and that's what's going on here. Also, we've got this card, Transformation, that's the energy of death in traditional tarot, so again, another indication of an ending here for this person and how they feel about this whole situation. Maybe they don't have any access to you, or maybe there was just a logical ending of this connection. <clears throat> maybe you even ended up being friends, and now they see... <coughs> that they don't have any chance of coming back in, into your life. I do see a little bit of hurt, to be honest, here with this emperor and hostility. There is a little bit of, like, pride in them. I'm not going to show you how much this hurts me. I'm not going to show you how much it touches me. Um, yeah, it's like their decision, their logical mind came to this decision that I'm gonna be strong regardless of how much it breaks my heart. And then we've got this card, I remember, memories, past lives. Yeah, they, first of all, this person still thinks of you, they still get reminded of you, there is still nostalgic energy here, and it could be that this is a past life connection. When, whenever I have the world card in a spread, it indicates that this could be 
um, just another life that you met together. And then we've got this kind of new life I just looked at. Yeah, it could be past life connection for sure. And it's not necessarily that they, they are meant to last. They usually come to remind us of things, of ourselves, I would say. Let's get some messages from your person. What would they say to you at the moment, pile one? What would your person want you to know? Mm, you see again another confirmation of an ending, of a conclusion, of a closure. But I don't feel like a closure really happened here. Maybe for one or two of you it did happen, but for the rest it's just you both separately had to close up the cycle of this connection for yourselves. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Not easy at all. I feel like this person really had to pull all of their strength, all of their power of will to make it happen, to, to let go. To stop thinking about you maybe to get distracted on new things new um, inspiring connections or adventures whatever they're doing in life <clears throat> look at that i wonder if you're happy without me they miss you if if you were wondering that i feel like this person really misses you you were someone very important to them they had to be honest i do see that they had big plans in regards to you with this wife, they were planning something serious. You were someone that they saw future with. For some of you, maybe you were already together, like as a, in a committed relationship, as in marriage. This will resonate for one or two of you. Look at that. I wish I had treated you better. Yes, maybe the things that they are reflecting here on is the mistakes that they made. The, the wrong choices that they make, made, the, 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 long, the wrong paths that they took in this connection. And it's interesting for me because they, it's almost like they're pr protecting their choices, protecting um, the decisions they made, because it's easier than ad admitting them to you especially. With this emperor and soldier, it's easier to, to be like on defense, hostile, like in this card hostilities, to protect their ego, to uh, to respect themselves, I guess. Um, yeah, let's get some more messages. What else would they want you to know, pile one? Messages from your person. What do they want you to know at the moment? You are my muse. Yeah, I guess you are very inspiring to them. You are someone who brings a lot of light into their life and um, kept them going, I guess. You really did. I'm taking my time. We have all the time in the world. They're definitely not in a hurry to make some active movements towards you or to change the situation with this world and widow it's almost like closing up the old cycle letting go of shedding the old drawing the conclusions that's the energy i'm getting from them <sighs> look at that you are the answer to my whole life i'm telling you you were someone so important for this person so significant but things did not go to plan they didn't what else would they want you to know, pile one? What messages do they have for you? Mm -hmm. I'm so afraid you will leave me at the end. Maybe it was a situation of a, a sabotage, sabotage in the connection, m making things worse on purpose because they were scared of you leaving them first. I will go through hell for you. This is someone very strong. I, I wouldn't be surprised that they would. It's just 
they are very strong, but also they are very proud. This person, very proud. What else would they want you to know? Pile two, pile one, pile one. Oh, my awkward finger with the cut. Shuffling is not easy anymore for me. Okay. You see, we've got this uh, apology. I'm sorry, I really do like you. I think they feel much more than that for you. It's almost like this person admits, doesn't really admit the, the, the extent of um, affection and attachment they have for you. It's hard for them to express their emotions in general, I feel like. That's someone who, who is trying to be very tough. Oh, look at that. I want to tell you my feelings, but I can't right now at the bottom of the deck exactly what I was talking about. For some reason, being vulnerable, being emotional, being affectionate is just, it's more than them at this moment. So this is all I had for you, Pal One. I hope it um, resonated with you. I hope it gave you some answers, gave you some clarity, and um, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number two, or everyone who chose Rose Quartz. Let's see what are your person's thoughts, feelings, and actions. We are opening the reading with Four of Swords. Malady. Queen of Wands. Room. Death and sight. Very similar energy to pile number one. Maybe there are some of you who couldn't choose between one and two. Um, very similar. So in your person's thoughts, it's almost like they are going numb at the moment in regards to this whole situation, in regards to what happened. They're trying to forget trying to stop thinking, trying to um, rest, trying to let go, trying to get out of this um, exhausted state, maybe trying to find solutions or maybe missing you or it's almost like they don't have any energy anymore to put into this mental energy. This person just wants to stop thinking, stop uh, stop overthinking, I would say. Stop uh, trying to pick their brains. I feel like they're very tired, especially mentally. This is someone so exhausted, so tired. Maybe you even went no contact with them with this Four of Swords. It's very often for me the energy of blocking people or being in no contact, not talking anymore, cutting all of the connection because it's unbearable because it's exhausting it's just like they need some peace of mind that's what i'm feeling not that they are sick of you or anything that's not true at all here uh, trying to come to they're trying to come to some balance peace within themselves especially mentally maybe they're trying to detox uh, not communicating with people as much not going out not socializing not using um, social media trying to be in nature a lot maybe just simply re resting and, s and sleeping more yes or maybe this person is not doing well mentally or they are quite yeah it's almost like on the border borderline with depression with uh, mental exhaustion burnout or anxiety and they're being forced to um, to go off grid, I want to say, mentally, to, to not um, engage with the outside world, to not um, um, think about stuff, difficult stuff, and things that, that were pressing on them um, previously. Yeah. Maybe they're meditating a lot at the moment. Maybe they went on some sort of retreat. Um, uh, on some nature uh, uh, vacation, something like that, to connect with nature, to connect with the silence within them, to quiet their mind, because it's very needed for this person I'm, I'm sensing. 
what's happening in their heart, their emotions. Mm. They're thinking about you. If this is a man um, that you're thinking about who's watching me, if you're a woman, um, they're thinking about you. <laughs> because that's interesting because we're looking at the uh, feelings placements, but it's almost like they're trying to connect with you, or maybe they're trying to. Uh, what I'm feeling at the moment is that you are the safe place. Still, you are the comfort zone. <laughs> you are the home cozy nest with this queen of wands and room maybe they're watching you at times even though they're trying to not think about you not think about the whole situation maybe they're spying on you maybe they see you um, somewhere social media maybe they see your pictures with this queen of wands you are shining you are you are someone they deeply respect and love and admire and whenever they see you, I'm getting this feeling, it's almost like this is my home, this is my person, this is someone who makes me feel safe, calm. Their mere energy is so homely to me, so cozy, so comfortable. And this is how they feel. There is some uh, confidence in you, there is this brightness and uh, powerful energy that you um, convey, that you express, that's just so familiar to them, very familiar. And that's why you are in their heart, still. There is a lot of warmth here in this connection, especially in emotional sense, a lot of warmth. The mental state is questionable, it's not, it's not easy, it's uh, filled with anxiety and problems, but in their heart of hearts, you're still their home. You're still someone who gives them this feeling of um, peace and familiarity. And um, like, I know you. You are just someone I, like I know the space that I live in, every, all of the four walls. I know this place. I know every nook. I know where all my plants are. I know where my bed is. I know what it looks like outside the window, this is how they know you, it's just some, maybe you spent a lot of time together, maybe you were very close, this is, the feeling of familiarity is very, very strong here. Very interesting. And they admire you a lot, they really admire you. Something about you is just so uh, attractive to them, so magnetic and um, familiar, again, <laughs> that word keeps coming back. This person's actions. I don't see any actions, to be honest, at the moment, and I'm not surprised since this person is trying to be, to calm down their mind, to relax, to come to some sort of peace and balance within themselves. And possibly for quite a few of you, you are in no contact. Because in their actions, we've got death and size. They're missing you. They are very sad. They are very disheartened about what happened. And they strongly feel like this might be the end of our story. Um, painful ending, very transformative ending. And uh, it's almost like this is not how they expected, expected things to go. This is not what they wanted the situation to grow into. It feels like a conclusion. That's what they're coming, they're trying to come uh, in understanding. I can't speak today. English is not happening for me today for some reason. Come to understanding of. Is, is that right? I can't speak. Oh my gosh. So there is this energy of conclusion and ending and hence they can't move towards you. They can't act because it feels like it all ended. It is this period of grieving and mourning pile two, that's what's happening, but we'll see, maybe there will be some clarification from the oracle cards, what's going on, yeah, again, yes, look at that, we've got this high priestess of fire, 
same energy as the queen, queen of wands. You give them so much inspiration in life. You, you, you are just so warm and so... Oh, you give them life. You give them motivation to keep living, to keep creating, to keep doing something, to, to keep uh, looking at the positive side of life. Your energy is just so tempting, so um, attractive to them. There is a lot of um, physical attraction here as well, since the wands and uh, fire. So, yeah. Someone they really look up to, like a, a role model even. Someone they really, um, they love your ways. They love the way you live your life. They love you ex the way you express yourself, the way you carry yourself in the world. It's just, it's all very inspiring and it's almost like when you when you really admire some sort of public figure or uh, some guru or teacher, that's how they feel about you. Just something about you is really resonating with them, with this person. Also, if you've got this card, the world, again, another indication of closing up the cycle, of shedding the old, letting go of the past. Very similar energy to death. It could be that there is a separation, a physical separation. Maybe you're in different countries, different cities, um, continents even. Uh, yeah, it feels like a conclusion for them, some sort of ending. But I don't think this person wants it to be so, to be their reality, to something to go through. Because the, there is a lot of, um, it's almost like, they feel that they still have something to give you and you have something to give them. With this exchange, exchanging gifts card, there is a lot of generosity here. Uh, a desire to be of service, to, sharing, to be sharing love, to be sharing affection with each other. And they do feel like you are their destiny. You are someone that was brought to them uh, by divine, by, by God, by spirits, whoever, you, wh whoever they believe in, they feel like you were meant to cross paths. I don't feel like this person let you go yet. They didn't. Even, even though the circumstances are not so bright, they're still holding on to this connection. Yeah, we've got this card balance and imbalances. Remember when I was saying that this person is trying to find balance, especially m mentally, to come into this inner tranquility, um, peace, and uh, feel like themselves again, mentally. And then we've got this card, I need to express myself. Maybe it's been a long time since you talked, since they shared with you how they feel about you, what they think about this connection, and Possibly it's time for them to do so, to, to speak up, to share, express themselves. Let's look at what they would say to you, if they could, about two messages from them. What would this person say to you? What do they want you to know at the moment? Look at that. Remember I said you are apart, you are at a distance. I feel you even though we are apart. Could be a long distance relationship or just um, a separation of some sort. For sure. I replay our conversations over and over. And I feel like this is what's draining them. This is what was causing them maybe even some mental issues or depression or anxiety because they couldn't put things together. They couldn't draw any logical conclusions or why or understand why things happened the way they did. That's why they're trying to come down a little, I feel like, mentally at the moment. Um, I hide behind material things. Hmm. Grounding themselves, maybe that's what they're trying to do. Not to be in their head so much anymore. What else would they say to you, Pile 2? What do they want you to know at the moment? Mm -hmm. Insecurities. Am I good enough for you? Yeah. 
again that anxiety could be coming from maybe they didn't feel like y y you are their equal you are someone um, they could um, compare to it's just you are above them with the screen of wands it's just y y you are shining so bright and people notice you and uh, you could have anyone why would you choose them you are my treasure they still value you and they really loved your influence on them your presence in their life the way you made them feel i am electrified by you yeah that passion that um attraction and pull that you have together let's get some more what else would they say to you pile two afraid of hurting you this is interesting maybe that's why you're not really talking at the moment to um, let go of the past uh, hurts and wounds and um, the things that were said to each other maybe they're trying to give you a break or maybe just uh, to clear the, the air between the two of you yeah, but they definitely don't want to hurt you. You mean so much to them. You are their treasure. Oh my god. I know I'm screwing everything up. Again, guilt, insecurity, and feeling like they're not enough, they're not doing things right. I think about you all the time. And I feel like they try not to, but it's close to impossible for them. So this is all I had for you, pile two. I hope uh, you liked it. I hope it resonated with you, gave you some clarity, answered your questions, and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three, or oh, everyone who chose yellow aventurine. Let's see what are your person's thoughts, feelings, and actions. We are opening the reading with the High Priestess. Gift. Seven of Swords. Joyfulness. Strength. And Lord. Hmm. Pile 3, this is a very secretive person, someone who is very, uh, with them, uh, it's almost like it's very difficult to figure them out, to understand their motives, whatever they want, their feelings, look at that, for their thoughts we've got the High Priestess, the energy of secrets, of hiding things, of um, things going internal, being hidden. Then we've got, for their feelings, we've got Seven of Swords. Trickster energy, someone who is uh, keeping things to, to themselves. Uh, someone who is kind of sneaky. But, okay, we'll get there. It's just very intense mystery about this person. Keeping things to themselves, not sharing, not being transparent. In their thoughts, what's going on? With this High Priestess and Gift, it's almost like this person is holding something back is not sharing something important with you is uh, trying maybe trying on purpose being mysterious uh, pulling back not uh, showing you the reality of things not expressing themselves clearly trying to put some fog it's almost like there is something valuable maybe uh, maybe literally I'm going to share you the picture that I'm getting. They have something to offer you, maybe some sort of um, gift or some valuable offer, but they're keeping it a secret for some reason. Maybe they've been planning something to, to come towards you with something, but um, they're not talking about it. Again, very secretive energy. It's almost like 
they're not admitting to themselves even what it is that they uh, want to bring to this connection. Someone so um, confusing to me, very confusing with this High Priestess and Seven of Swords. There's not enough clarity here. They're confusing themselves, they're confusing you. And um, in their feelings, again, it's almost like... Um, I don't feel like this person is as serious as committed. Um, probably not many people will like to hear this who are watching this. I don't feel like there's someone who is uh, capable of being out in the open, sharing the real plans with people. Maybe they talk a lot, maybe they promise a lot, but eventually what they really do is they're looking for fun. What they really want is, the, is joy, is pleasure, is this combination Seven of Swords and Joyfulness. This is like Three of Cups for me, which is like third parties, flirting and um, being a social butterfly, enjoying life, living one day at a time. This is what they're hiding from you. This is, it's almost like, maybe they feel that there is no reason for you to know that, to know the plans for the future. But I feel like you have a hunch. You have an idea of what this person is really like. Hiding their true motive, motives, hiding their true agenda, their um, intentions. That's what's going on here. Maybe they're not letting on too much at all, so you're wondering, you're confused, you're completely in the dark, in this foggy energy that they're giving off. And they're doing it on purpose to make sure that y you don't get off the hook, possibly. If this doesn't resonate with you, don't watch this video. If you don't feel like it's true to your perception of the situation, true to your heart's, um, your intuition, then don't watch this. Leave it for other people. If it resonates with you, then keep watching. But I, I say what I see and feel. With the Seven of Swords, it's just someone who, who is quite clever, quite cunning, and in their emotions, they're trying not to be caught, caught in the act, possibly. Or I'm not saying that this person is cheating necessarily, is a cheater, they're cheating on you, but there is just some immature energy about them. There is something not... They're not showing the whole truth. They're not being transparent with you. They're not honest about their intentions. Or the the other side of Seven of Swords could be lying, could be saying things that don't mean anything, could be making empty promises um, and not delivering anything on their promises. It's just... I feel like what they're really hiding from you is that what they want in this connection and I guess from relationships in their life is is fun, is pleasure, enjoyment, is um, getting away with what they can get without taking on any responsibilities, without um, getting serious, without um, yeah, showing showing um, generosity almost like with this joyfulness is just dancing in the woods <laughs> how i can describe this person just enjoying their life living their best life without any body without any um, responsibilities on their mind at all And I feel like this is very connected with this High Priestess um, in the position of their thoughts and gift. It's almost like they're very, mm, very focused on keeping things secret, keeping some, some things hidden. Very focused. I'm, I'm hearing all that glitters. This person is very focused on, on beauty, on things that are pleasurable, on things that maybe other people will envy or be jealous of. Um, yeah, you guys, you've got to be loved by someone honest. You deserve much more. This is just, this feels like a trickster to me, very much like a trickster energy. And again, with their actions, we've got strength. This person is trying you. This person is trying to manipulate you, trying to 
um, with this Lord, especially trying to to test your limits, to push your buttons with the strength to tame you um, by pulling on, pushing on those instincts, on those on that attraction, on sexuality possibly, on um, playing mind games with you as well. The strength, it's almost to me, this is like um, the battle of egos in relationships. This is th this type of energy for me. And with this Lord, it's almost like this person is trying to present themselves as someone highly desirable, highly maybe educated, highly um, noble and uh, experienced and everybody falls to their feet and they don't give off too much they don't give to other people it's almost like giving you just enough so you so you are hooked on them with the strength it's almost like you're training an animal you're training um, an animal or but in this case a person that you want you want them to do something for you you want them to relate to you in a certain way and you are doing that by uh, trying to seem so desirable so um, unreachable and it's like yeah hot and cold energy is also what I'm feeling here the way they relate to you could be quite hot and cold a lot of pride here, a lot of, almost getting a little bit of a narcissistic energy from them to be on this pile three. Only watch this, only take what resonates with you, if it resonates with you. Did that make sense? You know what I mean. Don't force yourself, don't force things to, to resonate if they don't. This is what I see. Someone trying to, it's almost like they're holding themselves back from you. They're on the periphery of your life, but they're holding themselves um, away from giving you what you deserve with the strength. It's almost like working very hard on their power of will, willpower, <laughs> I should say. Uh, yeah, there's something so cunning in them, something so manipulative in, in this person. I don't like this energy, to be honest, with the High Priestess, Seven of Swords, and Strength. It doesn't feel genuine, it doesn't feel expansive, generous, honest. Uh, let's look at the Oracle cards. Maybe we'll look at that. The first card that we get, we've got Playful. Exactly what I, what I was feeling. It's almost like they're playing with you, with, like with a kitten. Like, giving a little piece of food and then taking it away, trying to make sure that the kitten is running around or like playing with that toy that's just, uh, you know what I mean. It's almost like they see you as someone quite naive that they could play with, that they could maybe take some advantage of. There is this playful energy in them and very immature. I don't feel like this person deserves you to be honest about three. It's just, yeah, it, it's all about disruption it's all about some sort of look at that we've got this card door to value maybe this person was very focused on money for a very long time they didn't have enough time for you but they wanted you to stick around they wanted you to be there uh, so they could have access to your good to your energy to your beautiful loving heart but the main issue the main goal was money the main goal was their prosperity whatever it is that they were trying to achieve and they were giving you crumbs. They were playing with you. They were playing with you. Mm. Maybe for, for one or two of you, this will resonate. This, this person really enjoys that maybe you are quite well off. If you have money, if you have a good position somewhere, this is something attractive for them. Also, we've got this card TikTok. It could be that this person's strategy at the moment is to speed things up, to make sure that you are stuck with them, to make sure that you that this connection is, is working out. Because I do see that there is some sort of distraction. Maybe you're pulling back, maybe you're not trusting them as much. Maybe that trust that you had for them was completely shattered at some point. You are wondering what they really want from you, what's going on, who are we, that, those type of questions. And there is this rushed energy in them to make things, um, to pick up the pace, to, 
to make things right with you. Although, their definition of right, I don't know if it will um, resonate with yours, if it's matching yours. We've got this card Disruption. This is a similar energy to the tower in a traditional tarot. Again, this is just someone who maybe one day they come back and come to you, everything is good, everything is nice, they're trying to build something with you. Another day they come, they're in a bad mood, everything is falling apart, and they're playing with your emotions. They are very disruptive, I feel like, for you, this person. They're taking a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. They are trying to tame you somehow, trying to manipulate you, and very disruptive personality, I feel like. Not someone wholesome, not someone who is bringing peace to others, who is bringing love, generosity, um, support to others. I don't feel like there is a, any support from them whatsoever. Could be that money, they're helping you like financially, could be with this door to value. But other than that, maybe this is sexually fulfilling connection, but on emotional level, on practical a grounded stable level is just it's all um it's a very crooked structure that they're building with you also we've got this card fresh start and it says i wish it could be that yeah i'm strongly feeling that you pulled away you maybe set your boundaries maybe you said okay enough is enough i know what i what i deserve i know my value i know that i deserve more than the crumbles crumbs you're giving me the lies or flirting with others, I don't like what I'm seeing here, enough is enough, maybe that's what you said. And this person got kind of scared, got um, a little bit worried, so now they want a fresh start, they want, want to start anew, but I don't know if they're capable of changing their ways here, because all of the cards, it's just such a manipulative mind they've got, this person. Let's get some messages from them, what would they say to you pile three it's almost like they're scared that they will lose you so time is like a pressure for them at the moment i've got to do something this is not good i need to make my person admire me again i need to get their attention again this is what i'm getting from them with the strength and lord what would they say to you pile three I want to be more than friends. It could be that's that's the boundary you set. That's the um, ultim ultimatum you had for them. Uh, I can be in a relationship with you. The most I can give you is my friendship. That could be it. Maybe for some of you who haven't been in a serious connection with this person, they want more from you. This is a clear indication that they want either a romantic relationship or just a committed relationship with you. But I don't feel like they're speaking about it, they're talking about it. Look at that, I regret lying to you. They did lie. There is a lot of, at least, hiding things, at least. But what's more is just keeping things from you and possibly saying things that are not, not quite true. Maybe promising things to you that, that they knew exactly that they wouldn't be able to deliver on, they wouldn't be able to make that happen, what they were promising you. I will wait for a sign from you. Let's get some more messages. What else would they say to you, Pile 3? Someone very, very smart. That's what I'm feeling. I'm electrified by you. Yeah, a lot of passion here. A lot of attraction. Physical attraction. I constantly feel you running through my veins. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look at that. I can never say it, but I do love you. Maybe that's... A, I feel like that's one of the things that they are hiding from you, that they were keeping from you. Not being able to admit the extent of their feelings. It could be that they know exactly that they can't provide you, they can't give you what you deserve, the stable, committed, long-term connection here. And they are only good for 
good times for fun and pleasure and casual relationship but somewhere in the middle they, they caught feelings for you and there is this conflict within them what do i do how do i hide things how do i make like clever decisions how do i keep this person around without giving too much that's this is the energy i'm getting from them what else would they want you to know pile three This is a romance of a lifetime I have been waiting for. Maybe it, it really took, to, took them by surprise how, how strong their feelings are for you. And I don't feel like this person was ready for it at the moment. There is a little bit of immaturity or maybe they're quite inexperienced in love. It's just regardless of how old they are. I love the way you make, them, you make me smile. <laughs> yes. You have a very generous soul, very loving soul, it's just... Mm -hmm. I'm planning how to come back towards you, give me time. I guess if you're waiting for them, still, if you want them in your life, that's always your choice. There is always a will. Um, they might come back. I'm afraid of hurting you at the bottom of the deck. That's nice to know because looking at the energies, looking at the cards, I feel like they already did hurt you quite a lot, this person. So this is all I had for you, Pile 3. Um, I hope it answered some of your questions. I hope it gave you some clarity. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.